Our network of nearly 10,000 people at more than 86 campuses nationwide recognized that as the debate around our federal debt was heating up, our generation needed to make their voices heard. Instead of just plugging budget holes to make the numbers work, Roosevelt Campus Network members started by designing the future they want to inherit, then decided how to pay for it. Roosevelt created an initiative called Think 2040 to empower college-age millennials nationwide to share their values and their highest priorities for the future. Today we're going to prove that this bold, inspiring vision isn't just idealism from a bunch of kids. Instead, our budget demonstrates a hopeful, achievable, fiscally sustainable option for the future of the nation by the future of this nation. We have yet to recover from the Great Recession. So in the short term, we propose an ambitious program to get the economy back on track. By rebuilding America's infrastructure for a new green economy, investing in high-speed internet access for all Americans, high-speed intercity passenger rail, and a green jobs core, we're getting people back to work. Looking forward, we make long-term investments in people, infrastructure, and our environment. We empower the most vulnerable Americans through increased school lunch funding and investments in our poorest communities. And seeing education as the foundation of America's prosperity, we also reinvest in key education programs like Pell Grants and create new pathways to opportunity, including public preschool for all Americans. We stop ignoring the two trillion worth of desperately needed repairs to America's infrastructure by implementing a program that halves the infrastructure deficit in its first five years, easing commerce and reinstating America at the vanguard of innovative infrastructure and we take action to achieve the green economy through investments in smart grid technology, renewable energy development, and the passage of a carbon tax to align private sector growth with sustainable development. We even design a program to put funding into those towns most dependent on the coal and gas business to help them transition to new industries. Young people are also committed to ensuring opportunity for all through a stronger, more flexible safety net. Social Security is at the foundation of this promise. We support expanding this efficient, impactful program by extending survivor benefits to young people pursuing higher education and ensuring Social Security for generations to come by raising the payroll cap to 90% of income with a 4% surcharge on wages above the cap. Because we learned from the Great Recession, we are also determined to ensure our safety net is resilient in the face of any future economic downturn. We institute an auto stimulus to states triggered by rises in unemployment and provide low interest federal loans to shore up state budgets. Finally, American families and cities should no longer be devastated when an industry leaves town. We invest in research and implementation of more effective worker retraining programs to prepare and transition workers through our dynamic, evolving 21st century economy. On healthcare, we're making certain that everyone keeps their Medicare and Medicaid benefits. Then we're bringing costs down by instituting provider reforms, breaking up health insurance companies that are too big to allow cost competition, and giving Medicare more power to set lower prices. Finally, we're replacing the employer exclusion for health insurance with an unprecedented subsidy via tax credits for all Americans. This ensures that no matter your income or employment status, all Americans can buy truly affordable, quality health insurance. Overall, we reduced projected government health care costs from 10% of GDP down to 7% without sacrificing quality. And if our provider reforms can't bring costs under control within 10 years, we're stepping in with a strong public option to compete with the private market and offer low-cost quality insurance to every American. We will bring our peers back home, saving the U.S. $3.8 trillion by ending the Iraq and Afghanistan wars by 2015. Further, we must deploy troops in a way that reflects current challenges. Recognizing that the Cold War is over and our greatest future threats will not come from traditional warfare, millennials are adding investments in energy and cybersecurity. Millennials want to raise significant revenue by eliminating billions of dollars in tax giveaways to corporations and special interests distributed through the tax code. 
Roosevelt also implements a financial transactions tax, cuts corporate rates across the board, and helps stabilize the financial system by ending too big to fail through a 25% financial activities tax on institutions that pose unacceptable risks to our financial system. We also implement major income tax reform. Currently, the top 10% of earners hold more than 45% of wealth in America. We amend the system to designate tax rates based on the distribution of wealth so that as inequality rises or falls, the tax system automatically adapts to follow the money, all while bringing debt under control. Roosevelt democratized the budget process, and with thousands of opinions, we coalesced around the priorities of greatest importance, made compromises, and developed a plan of action that achieves our generation's shared goals.